Good morning, everybody. I decided to turn my camera on again today. Um, I started to do a little project here, um, but then I thought, let's just turn the camera on. So I'm in the phase of continuing my dismantling obsession. So when I came into my craft room this morning, as you know, that this was my last video. We made this together on my last video. So, but I realized, you know what? I'm just going to keep going. You're going to laugh perhaps or not, but here is the rest of that box. I started tearing away and I just, all the pieces that I tore off the box when I dismantled it to get this shape, I decided to do the same thing for the variegated look. I love that look. And here are the pieces of the package I'm keeping as well. And when I came into my crafting this morning, um, there was another box sitting on my desk or my beside my desk that I dismantled. So here's the inside look, which I'm not going to use today, but I will be using it at some point. Here is what I did with it. I tore the a portion of the box down and then I took some packaging paper and I covered the inside. It's, it's glued down and I folded it over. So I thought, oh, well, that'll be fun. Just do a random trashy smash journal or something. So I grabbed some of my coffee dye pages that I did recently and some of my coffee. All of this is coffee dye, even down to the coffee filters, some magazine pages. I will be folding and I will be putting them into this as well, this journal. I'll probably make a couple of signatures. Maybe it'll be one big uh, signature. I'm not sure yet. But then I thought, oh, once I, you know, get this ready, wouldn't this be cute if I place this as um, a cover ornament? I kind of like that. So in keeping with the trashy cardboard journal theme, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably add some material behind this, of course, maybe some cheesecloth or some muslin. I'm not sure yet. But this is the look I'm going to go for after all. And then I'll have some stuff tucked inside the, this pocket pouch. And there'll be a nice signature inside. So, I don't know. Maybe you want to make one with me. Just tear. I didn't have, I didn't, obviously I didn't use a ruler. I didn't use scissors. I just simply tore the box apart. And then this is what I came up with. So, um, yeah, this is all glued down. I, I'm going to leave it all ragged looking. But now, let's just fold up some sheets here. Love the color of this batch of coffee dyed papers. They're all randomly. Some are light, some are dark. And this is like the coffee filter flattened and coffee dyed. And a couple of magazine pages, some random uh, letter, legal letter sized pages. I like this ragged edge here. Now, because they're longer, I have to <coughs> fold them accordingly. So sometimes I fold them out like this, sometimes I fold the back side out. So when it's in your signature, and eventually you turn to this particular side of it, you get a flap. You can either glue edge both edges here and it's a pocket or a flip out. Just all kinds of fun ways. But this one, I think I'm just going to fold in this way. And then it'll be an inside flap. This one, I will probably, I don't know, I'm just folding. I'll probably fold it this way again. And there's this. So for now, I'm just going to, just for, uh, to give you an idea of how I'm going to my signature together I think which one will I use for the front maybe I'll use this one we'll see we'll see 
But I do want to mix these up. Actually, I love this. Look how dirty that looks. Just love that. I'm going to fold it so that I get more of the dirty side. Stained side, shall we say. And a magazine page. I'll probably um, add some music paper. Um, put this here. Anyways, this is this is gonna give you an idea of where I'm going with this. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it, love it. Hmm. Maybe you know what? I think I'm gonna do a big old a big old signature. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some more paper. I've got I'm just gonna grab what's around me. I'm not gonna get up or anything to go find different pages. So I'm gonna take out large a couple of large music sheets I love this book I've used this book in several of my journals it's really big and I love it got it at a thrift store okay so I think I want this front to be showing and Probably fold it this way and then tuck it under. Like so. This one back. Okay, so I'll stick this maybe here. It's a little larger, but that's okay because I have height with the jagged. Sized pages or uh, cover. Where's the middle here? Put this one in the middle. I like it, how it's peeking out a little bit. Okay, so we got this. What else do I have nearby? Um, da -dum -dum. Let's take out. Let's take out some Edith Holden. And I'm just going to grab the first page I see. Isn't, aren't these? Illustrations, beautiful. Hmm, I could, I could take it out as one big page. Let's try that. And maybe I will use it as the signature, the signature um, cover because it's nice and sturdy. If I don't manage to rip it. what's going on. Okay. There we go. I'm going to have to tear it down because I don't want it. Yeah, that's, yeah, no, that's too, um, that's too wide. So I'm just going to take my ruler and eyeball it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, I might choose this side actually. I like that. Okay, let's see if this fits better. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna go right in there like that. Hmm. I do like that actually. And again, this is going to go like that. Oh, I love that. So fun. 
I think for, um, there's this other piece that's all part of the, the tearing out portion of this. I think I'm going to use this just to reinforce the spine for extra strength. Um, so yeah, I'm basically just going to glue this down and I will sew the signature into this portion before I glue it down. So this will be like a hidden spine. I like to do those, that style. Yeah, so that's, that's the way it'll be sewn in. And then it will go on like this. Thinking out loud, talking out loud. I feel like I should tear this cover up a bit. Because I want this little portion here not to look so perfect. So let's do that. Oh my goodness, we're tearing up Edith. And that's okay. I like that. That looks better already. Let's just see. Give it a bit of ink here. I really need to... <clears throat> I use this quite a bit. I, I get like way too long out of my ink pads. I'm sure most of you replace them long before I do, but I use this. I got it off uh, Amazon. Oh my goodness. A couple of years ago and I'm still using it. But I just spray my ink pad and it activates the oxide. And I get a lot of a lot of year out of it or a lot of usage out of it. Okay. <clears throat> I want to just ink this for the sake of how how it's coming together for today. And then I'll uh, this won't be finished this video. If you're interested in this process, um, let me know. I don't typically do videos that, you know, where I create an entire journal. This one's simple and because it's so, it's so edgy and it's so, um, you know, it's, there's not, not a lot of thought going into it. My journals do take me too long, so that's why I, you don't typically see me do them on camera. But this one's fun and just completely trashy, which I would be happy to share with you. If you want, you can let me know in the comment box. But I like how that looks. And I especially like how this is going to look. I think this is going to be really fun, a really fun journal. But I think I'm still going to add a little bit more paper. Um, maybe not today. Let's just leave things as they are today. This is a very, a very quick little video um, that I just thought I'd share with you. So let me know your thoughts, you guys. Um, if you want me to keep filming. The, as I further along in the process here, I do want to take some muslin, just, or sorry, some cheesecloth and show you how it might look if I back the, uh, if I back the pocket pouch. Give it a little scrunchy. I'll probably dip it in some tea and let it dry but so that'll be like that it'll be a little darker of course but see how this looks I think it's cute I think it's kind of cute it's going to be fun a little bit of a, an, a, a I guess a, a change from my typical journals that are you know more I guess just more carefully put together <laughs> But I love this organic style. I have this um, twine closing the flap. Also looks kind of nice like that too, doesn't it? It's just, just 
just kind of, uh, I don't know. Anyways, um, let me know. I don't have much more time I, that I can sit in my craft room today. So I'm going to leave it as is right now. And I would appreciate it if you guys let me know what you think. And again, if you want me to, to turn the camera on as I, as I complete this, I would love to do that if you're into it, interested. Okay. Uh, what else do I have to show you? Um, anything that I have pressing? Nope, nothing at this moment. I'm in the process of... Oh, and these will go in here too because they're all fun and organic and also used from my trashy papers and stuff. So, hmm, let's just see. <clears throat> Tell me what you think. Do you like this for the cover topper? Or... Oh, that's pretty too. Hmm... I have some options here. That would make a lovely topper as well. Or this one. Well, that's a little journal in and of itself. Actually, this, I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do with this, okay, I'm going to sit back down. Let's see what it would look like in the middle of the signature. That would be a nice little, a pretty little element, would it not? <clears throat> to, to go through it and suddenly this, this, uh, this, um, let's just go through the pages here. And flipping through, da 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 da. Coming up will be <clears throat> this delightful little middle signature journal, a mini journal. I like this idea. That's going to go in here, I think. I think my decision is made. So this goes there. Somehow, possibly this. I, I still am leaning toward this, but I'm liking that too. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. There's this one. That's cute because of the colors, but I'm going to go with this, I think. And somehow incorporate these into the journal. Maybe even on the inside. There you go. Maybe that's where I'll put it. Though it does open up that way, so maybe I will put it on the inside of the back cover. And I kind of like the floral, how it looks the florals together and then it's it's a little um flip down and flip up hmm. i'm going to probably still sew a little signature in there of paper oh this is developing as i sit and as i ponder okay well now you have an idea of how i how i work i do a lot of as I go, things develop, my my ideas just kind of come. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Sorry it's so random, but hey, that's okay too. I will see you guys again, possibly tomorrow, if not on Monday. Okay, bye everybody. Have a great day.